this is the water and feeling energy message for August 12th to the 18th of 2024. Again, that's August 12th to the 18th of 2024. So looking at the astrology, the energy is going to be all over the place this week. So um, I think it's because of the 888 portal, the Lionsgate portal. The energies have been very intense if you guys haven't been feeling them already. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going on this week. Um, starting off on Monday, you might feel like you can get things done, but you go, you'll be good as long as you're not working on a team project. But if you're working on a team project and you're trying to take it over and you're dealing with a battle of egos, you're not going to win, okay? On Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to be dominated by quick a quick succession of squares and oppositions by the moon, okay? Which are going to create an explosive energy of opposites. So this is going to happen uh, along with Mars between Mars and Jupiter, okay? So there's going to be some quick, small skirmishes, like people getting into arguments at work, disagreeing, and you're going to be trying to figure out why people just purposely being negative or purposely disagreeing with things that you said. Maybe this is the first time to think. Maybe this is someone that has always annoyed you and agitated you. Just roll with it and try your best not to make things... Uh, blow up or become bigger than what they really are okay um yeah so during the week it's going to be a whole lot of uh people feeling like they're getting justice when it's really payback and revenge it could be you it could be other people it could be something you see in the collective in society as a whole something that you see in politics uh <laughs> in all avenues of life okay so just be on the lookout for that so let's get into the astro cards and uh the tarot and then an oracle card okay so let's see so my holy spirit what energies will the collective be working with for august 12th to the 18th of 2024 And guys, don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe, okay? Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, like I said, Mercury retrograde, Mercury went retrograde um, in Virgo on the 5th of August. So, we're still in that energy. We'll still be in that energy until almost uh, the end of the month, like the 29th, 28th, 29th-ish. It will go direct back into leo so mercury <laughs> word saws analysis information learning trade ideas smarts reporting awareness visions lens palette perception curiosity narrative muse and wonder okay not surprised to see that we have the ninth house of seeking foreign travel adventure higher education customs faith beliefs pilgrimages Spiritual quests, aspirations, journalism, religion, gurus, and risk taking. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, look, I just got a message. Uh might see something with a big time spiritual leader, a guru, religious leader being exposed for something on the news. Uh, in the blogs, gossip form, I don't know where that come from, but that stood out to me and I'm giving it to y'all take it how it resonates. The moon, feelings, instinct, nurture, good reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotion, sustenance, self-soothing moods, and other. Okay. So, intense energy, intense emotions during this week, like I told you guys before. Okay. Fifth house, passion, performance, entertainment, creativity. Costume, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, and disco ball. So this this time really during Mercury Retrograde is the time to work on the creative things or projects that you have already started. Revise them, edit them, reflect on how you're structuring things. This is the time to do that. And a lot of you guys will be doing that. Okay. Follow your passions. Okay. Productive passions, I should say. Okay, let's see what other energies will the collective be working with for the week of August 12th to the 18th. Bam, there it is. North Node Destiny. 
Soul School, Learning Curve, Fulfillment, Purpose, Maturing, Experience, Fruition, North Star Process, Development, Practice Path, Beacon, Blossoming, Becoming, Integrity, and Journey. Awesome. It's all about the North Star. Okay. All right, Spirit, what other energies will the collective be working with for August 12th to the 18th? Yep. Square. Challenge. Creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, reorients, hurts, works out, and reconciles. So, closing out cycles, reconciling some things in your life with people, with, the, with yourself, whatever the case may be, okay? Take it how it resonates. And that's what Mercury Retrograde is about as well. Okay, one more card here for the end. <laughs> The tenth house. Now that one needs to come out in reverse. We're gonna take it to right there. Uh, reputation, career responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, standing, authority figures, legacy, purpose, pinnacle, the patriarchy, and the empire. Something might affect uh, you guys' reputation this week. And I remember when I was telling you guys, uh, make sure you tread lightly, especially in work endeavors or creative endeavors where you have to partnering with other people or collaborate and work with other people because you might think a project or something might need to go in one direction someone else or other people might think it need to go in another direction you have to tread lightly because that could end up harming or uh, putting a hamper on your reputation so be careful okay at the bottom of the deck we have Neptune dreams imagination memories the subconscious self-sacrifice ideals universal love visions meditation will be key this week as well spirituality compassion empathy fantasies escapism the ether enchantment confusion veils and magic if you didn't know the veil i don't really think there's veil anymore i'm just being honest the energies are very intense and they will continue to be intense and getting more intense so meditate do whatever you need to do to keep grounded and stable in your own energy and release that intense energy, okay? So focus on your dreams. Your dreams for a lot of you guys may have messages for you, okay? So let's get into the tarot here, okay? They got that dreamy energy again with the Nine of Cups, okay? And uh, as a split today, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective? for August 12th to the 18th of 2024. I suggest for August 12th to the 18th of 2024. As always, guys, when any tarot reading, take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation. If a message doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply, consider like my video, share my video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that bell notification, okay? All right. Let's get into it. Let's cut the dick here. Um, let's see. Let's see. We got the Three of Pentacles. That's too many. That ten of wands want them to come out reverse, like that ten, uh, tenth house came out. Okay, we got the world card. Mm, I'm have to edit that out, <laughs> blur it. Okay. Um, what else we got? The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Mm, okay. Let's see here. For some of y'all, y'all gonna be working on some ideas that are gonna bring. Your stability and money into your life that are going to be very fruitful and financially really good on financing. Okay, let's see here. The Queen of Wands. The King of Wands. Wow. Okay. Like a power couple there. Okay. And the magician. Okay. Let's see what the overall energy is. <laughs> the hangman. 
Philly is stuck, stagnant. What changes your perspective on that? Let's see here. Yeah, and 10 ones. Yeah, baby, you moving along. It seems like you're stuck and you're stagnant, but you're moving right along. The seeds you have planted, you haven't planted them in vain. You might feel like it, but you haven't, okay? So let's get into this, okay? Let's see here. With the Three of Pentacles, move that. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like a lot of you guys, like I say, you might be communicating with someone, collaborating at the job, Three of Pentacles, and things might be moving along. You have the, the ability with whatever it is you're working on, whether it be a creative project or something on the job, to make a name for yourself and move forward in your career, or getting exposure, getting promoted with the World Card. Um, for some of y'all, I feel like this is a boss or something, or you're going to be uh, promoted as the boss or boss figure or whatever, or supervisor at your job. I feel like y'all have been working up to this point. For some of y'all, a, a boss or a supervisor is leaving, and you've been working or maybe been their un understudy or apprentice or whatever, and you've been waiting for this opportunity, and it's been a long time coming. I feel like as you get into this energy for some of y'all you might uh be working with someone collaborating with someone and y'all be able to take over this particular company or grow a company forward for some of y'all this king of pentacles is an investor in an idea or a company that you and your spouse or significant other have they're going to invest in you uh, i feel like this is it's been a long time coming with this person trying to um trying to find an investor that actually shares the vision that you have for your company or your product or your idea and you're going to get it okay y'all manifested this you and whoever this person this could be a business partner this could be this could be a business partner this could be a significant other who you're in business with the king of, and queen of one's energy and y'all manifested this person who will um actually uh, be a, like a silent partner or a contributing partner, or investor into your company, and you're going to take things to the next level for yourself. I'm not saying that everything's going to be easy, hunky dory, but like I said, tread carefully because if you don't, for some of y'all, if this this is real specific, if this is for you, if you're trying to get somebody to invest in your company and they they value what you're giving. Uh, or what product or your ideas you got to meet somewhere in the middle you can't be like nope I'm not changing nothing nope I'm not doing this you got to be flexible okay for whoever this manifests or either this is you I keep getting an entrepreneur thing but if it's like you being on the job you have to learn to collaborate and work with others share ideas and actually work with them and not go solo dolo like I was telling you guys earlier okay that's interesting. So let's see here. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages or message do you have for the collective for August 12th to the 18th of 2024? Let's see here. Ooh, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Okay, you know I gotta read this one. So let's see here. Breath of the cosmos. Let's see. I never seen this one. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, manifesting like the magician, micromanaging the universe. When we rely on our own will, we're micromanaging, didn't I <laughs> Okay. We're micromanaging the universe and resting and resisting the natural flow of life. We're not trusting the mysterious breath of life. We're rejecting the great cosmic intelligence and relying instead on our own personal strength. When we do this, we find ourselves attempting to bend things to our will. We spend our time forcing, pushing, and living from a space of trying to. Everyone around us can feel it. Ooh. Mm. Wow. 
And the universe can too. You're being called to stop micromanaging the universe and trust the breath of life. That was basically what I was talking about. Be more flexible. Don't just go off on your own trying to do something. Actually collaborate with others, okay? And the universe. To surrender to the greater will that God has for you. To move from my will to thy will. When you surrender to the greater will of life, you begin dancing with the rest of life. When you bow to the great mystery and say, please use me, please show me the way, little by little, you find yourself living your most fulfilling, authentic life. When you surrender your personal will, when you relinquish control and release the way you think things should be, should be and surrender to the greater will, you find yourself being a lead, co-creating with spirit in the universe. Hmm. You begin breathing the breath of life, the star sea activation if you choose to partake. Um, I'm willing to stop relying on my own strength and personal agenda and instead surrender to the breath of life. Dear God, help me move from my will to thy will. Please lead me. Please show me the way. Okay? So once you let go and stop trying to be solo dolo and everything and ask spirit, source, God, whoever you choose to call on to guide your steps and order your steps, things will align as they should along with you co-creating with, co -creating with source. You should get to exactly where you need to be when you need to be there okay so that is all i have for the collective for the what i am feeling energy message for august 12th to the 18th of 2024 i hope you guys enjoyed the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys